Hey, Gabby here from it's simple.net.au and I want to have a chat to you about getting your marketing projects completed. Now, if you saw this already, I, I did a video teaching you and sharing you about the scrum board. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You know, there'll be a, there'll be a link to that video on my Facebook page. This is the next level to the conversation. So what it is, is you got to understand and know who you are. As a business owner, if you don't understand how you function, how you think, and tap into your absolute genius, you'll find yourself running strategies to get stuff done in your business that just aren't right for you. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I've found is there's three types of people. There are starters, there's maintainers, and there's finishers. And depending on which one of these you are, will determine how you get your projects done in business or how you don't. So starters are people that actually love ideas, they love starting projects, however, they find that the momentum fizzles out over time and those projects end up sort of getting a bit dusty while other projects replace them, yeah? Maintainers are people that tend to not really take on new projects, they tend to maintain old systems in the business. So when it comes to marketing, they're still doing the same shit they've been doing for years and they're not really branching out and exploring a lot of the online stuff that's available to them right now and as a result their business is suffering. Yeah? And then there's finishers. Finishers are the types of people that finish. They just want to finish stuff. Now the disadvantage, by the way, if you're a finisher, is that if you're a finisher you tend to speed through your marketing project and it may not perform the way it's meant to because it wasn't done properly in the first place. So there's an understanding to you know get that each one of these people, each one of these ways of doing stuff has a pro and a con to it. You know, if you're a starter, you tend to get overwhelmed and you just, you know, you take on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You're like, oh, there's so much to do. Your to-do list is huge, you're super friggin' overwhelmed. And, you know, and now you're not doing anything. If you're a maintainer, you tend to seek perfection. So you you spend too much time working on a project. And as a result, you know, it, it's, um, it's not being launched. So you're not actually like launching your marketing projects. If, um, if you've got anything going on, you're just tweaking and tweaking and working at them and working at them. And therefore, you're not really getting the return on investment. And if you're a finisher, like I said before, you could be fast-tracking it a little bit too much. And as a result, you're kind of looking for the magic pill, looking for the quick win, the quick fix, and wondering why things aren't working because the stuff you're implementing is so it's a bit like, you know, it's, it's a quick job. It's like, you know, I remember when I was a kid, mum would tell me to clean my bedroom. I kind of stick stuff under my bed or under the rug just to finish the job, Yeah. Now what you want to get is this, that depending on who you are and how you like to do things, if you love to start because it's fun, you know, um, then what you got to understand for yourself in getting things done in business is you're not the kind of person that's going to want to work on one project for days on end. You're going to find that that drives you nuts because you like starting, you don't really like maintaining and finishing, you get most of your buzz out of starting new things. So to help you get your marketing projects done, what you want to do is you actually want to block out a small period of time in your day and do what's called a sprint. So you want to do a fast sprint and get some of your projects done and mix it up a bit. So if you have a day where you're working on your business, then work on different projects throughout the day and it will help you stay focused and stay you know, present and actually get the job done. Otherwise, if you try and take one project and fixate on that, you'll find yourself being distracted with Facebook, with phone calls, with insert whatever here, because you actually don't like the process of being on one thing for a very long time. Cool? So sprint. You'll find that there's a point in the day where you're actually most pro productive. And it could be the start of the day. So it could just be that, you know what? You, from now on, at 7 in the morning, you block out a time from 7 till 8, for argument's sakes. Well, that's on the business time, and you're going to do a sprint to finish one of your projects. Cool? So that's how you can get more done, you know, depending on which energy you're at, yeah? If you're a finisher, and you like to get, like, you just want to finish, 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 
you find you don't really have problems getting stuff done, but like I said, your marketing machine, your marketing could not, could potentially be not working because you've rushed it. So if there's anything not working, if you're a finisher, I really recommend you get the know-how. You, know, you find the right people that know how to run the strategy and learn a little bit more about the mastery of that strategy. And if you're a maintainer, my recommendation to you in marketing is start. Start a new project. Start some new marketing to get your business going. If you don't start some new online marketing channels, you'll find that you'll stay in the client sort of roller coaster.